when I was growing up, I was seeing Superman, Batman. I'm like, I think it'd be really cool to have a superhero, you know, who's black and is based in Scotland, you know. Then when Black Panther came out, I was like, yes, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And my name is Etienne Kubavo and I'm 29 years old. And uh, I'm originally from the Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo, but now I'm living in Scotland, you know. It's my new home. And uh, I'm a filmmaker and a DJ. Well, my family was in Scotland first, my mom and my brother and sisters. And I was living in Uganda at the moment, waiting for my papers to be clear to be in the UK. And obviously, I don't know why my mom chose Scotland, but she seems to have fallen in love with the place. It was, it, it was a tough journey. It was a tough journey for her to kind of get us all of us here. But she's a really, you know, hardworking woman. And, you know, she wanted really a good, great opportunity for the kids and also to live in a country where they are safe. So when I got to Scotland, I wanted to choose something I really loved doing. Like, I really loved doing. So I was going through different courses and because my mom knew I was good at accounting, she was like, ah, he's probably going to be an accountant, end up in the bank or something. And then when I chose media, she was not happy about it. I started off shooting music videos for like local artists. And then I went off to shoot music videos like in New York, Sweden, Germany. I've done some stuff for some good uh, big artists in Africa. Then about two years ago, that's when I got commissioned by the Scottish government to do a, a, a documentary about people who have moved to Scotland in the last 40 years and how they see Scotland as the new home. A year later, I did another documentary about young people. After the two documentaries, that's when we decided to take a year and do a film. There's things I want to do as a filmmaker, but budget-wise, I can't, but I can show that in the visuals and the comic book and the stories. So I, I started doing sketches, one of my friends, and then before you know it, it, it started happening. DJ Eat, he gets the DJ when he's on earth, once he gets to the music. He's got power of a star. That's why he's got a star here. And he's fun, you know, he DJs. Come on, that's an extra thing. We don't have a superhero who, who's the DJ. No way, there's none. I guess the character also represents people who move from a, a different country and come and settle in Scotland. You know, so the, the world where he comes from represents that. And then Scotland being the main playground of the character. There's some experiences that I've had living in Scotland, right? So like all those maybe injustices or things I've experienced of uh, racism and you know and things that I've also ex experienced of like love and how Glasgow is really welcoming you know this it's all 50 50 so I wanted to kind of get all that together in a book because there's some things you look at the news or whatever and then there's nothing you can do about it but if you can write stories that will inspire other people I think that's a great start. If you look at Batman and you see Gotham City, you're thinking of New York City. I want that to be the same thing with this comic book. I want people to read it and they start seeing it in animation films or films. They'll know that, wow, this is our city. This is where it's happening. You know, so people should be ready for some flying killers up here. If you have an idea, a story, it doesn't matter how stupid it sounds. You know, just do it, you know, just do it. And the more you do it, you get better. I'm going to be directing big movies in Hollywood. Wait for it. Wait for it. That's how it's going to be.